Hello, I'm Paul Daniels, and in 2003, I was invited up to the Edinburgh Fringe to present my normal show, An Audience with Paul Daniels. Well, when I got there, they had this little empty room in the top of a tower on the church. So, I said, uh, I could do something up there. I'm sure I could. All my life, I'd read about this man, Max Malini, and I thought, wouldn't it be good to show the public the Malini magic? And so I very quickly put it together, and it was extraordinarily successful. So much so that I was invited to do it down in London. And what you're about to see is a presentation I did in March 2004. So here I am at the German Street Theatre in the heart of London West End. <laughs> Yes, it's uh, kind of gets your attention a while, don't it? Yeah, hi. That was the very first trick in the Max Malini evening show. Who was Max Malini? Max Malini, of whom most of you have never heard, was a, a traveling conjurer. And on his business card it said, you will wonder when I'm coming, you will wonder more when I'm gone. Okay? <laughs> he would cut this through, all right? And he would cut it through. Like this, all right? And he would say to the child, you know, oh, just a minute, could you just step back a bit because they paid to see me? <laughs> all right. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Cruel taskmaster, all right? But then, having done that, he would say, okay, pull. Ta. And it would be back together again. It was as simple as that. Phil, make sure it's inside. It is inside. Your name is? What, Phil, what is your name? Norman. Norman. Nice to meet you. And he would immediately tear it up. The man had just felt it, he'd tear it up, and he'd throw it away. I love that trick. It's amazing. You think heads again? Maybe you're right, maybe you're wrong, Pauline. Show me. What is it? Heads. You win again? Oi, 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 okay. I spin one last time. Okay? On the here, what is it? Tails. The glass. On okay. the, the glass, <laughs> we are oh, back well, to sorry. the beginning. <laughs> a pound, and you think this time tails. I so I do not cheat. I do not cheat. Give me your right hand, okay? Fingertips, please. Fingertip, fingertipy. Pick, it, pick up the glass, fingertipy. Pick it up, okay? Is it here? Yeah. You win again? Okay. I am now serious. Very serious. On the here is the pound, you just saw it tails. You think I could make the pound disappear? I'm sure you can. No, I can't. Oh. But the glass is something else. <laughs> oh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Shh. I got one? Yes. Yeah. What is the name of the second card? Joker. It was a joker. Ach. Yes? Obviously not. You've got two cards. Oh, two cards. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this does not feel right. Next. Some stupid woman mixed the cards up. <laughs> Spread them. Nothing feels good. I have one? Yeah. What is the third card? Yeah. And he used to call it chink a chink. Now, despite working in China, that was not a racist remark. It was just his catchphrase, chink a chink, chink a chink. A bit like uh, Sim Salabim, Abracadabra, hey diddle diddle, we're working a fiddle, all of those, you know? So, but now, again, I have to go back to that time. He would say, I now do for you 
something special. This is in a restaurant, of course. The guy's sitting in a restaurant. And he said, look, I make chink chink I make chink chink I make chink chink I make chink 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 And he jumped over there. And there was no possible explanation for it, except he would go, I make a game for you, okay? One coming here now, watch. Chink 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 Oh, no, it's over here. Uh, maybe I make mistake now. It's supposed to be here. So if you go chink, 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 it goes over here. Now, this one will go all by itself. You have to trust me. But it goes from here to here by itself. Watch. Chink, chink, chink. Oh, it's here. Sorry, I make a mistake. It's supposed to not be here. It's supposed to be over there. Chink, chink. <laughs> we try again. We try again. Hedge or tails? Guy Vernon, I mentioned him earlier, didn't I? You did. Heads. Heads. You lose every time, huh? I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guy Vernon was a very famous magician, mm -hmm. and he was booked by another man who was very rich, but not a magician. He said, this man Malini keeps coming to my house, and he keeps doing this trick all the time, and he's driving me crazy. So he employed Vernon to watch Malini, and he still didn't learn where the ice came from. <laughs> That's it. Thank you for the loan of the hand. Thank you very much. Mind everybody.